Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. Hi, this is Amit Doshi, and I wanted to thank each and every one of our listeners. It's been two years since I founded IBM, and it's been an amazing two years. We wanted to learn a little bit more about who is listening to our shows, and so we put together a short survey. The survey is anonymous, and we aren't going to be collecting any personal information. I would really appreciate it if you could take a couple of minutes out of your day and go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey and fill it out. Thanks, and please keep listening. All right. Please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. On Cyrus Says, we meet Malika Singhania, a woman who's made crores of rupees by selling a portal she's denied ever having. Let's find out the truth in an investigative piece of journalism I like to call Cyrus Says. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows? All right, on Cyrus Says, it's time to talk about things that really piss me off. And this is people who wear the same socks again and again. I've just met a man who's told me the secret to success is you take your socks off, you turn them the other way around and you wear them again the next day. It's very simple. Let me tell you, it doesn't work. We are no longer friends. So please change your socks. It's called Cyrus Says. Oh, by the way, if you have only one sock, then you can wear it on the other leg. That's the way it works. And that's what Cyrus says. All right, here on Cyrus Says, I'm now bored of the title Cyrus Says. I want to change the name. So Malika, before I introduce you, I'm going to just ask you, any ideas to change the title Cyrus Says? It sounds very megalomaniac and you know when you have your own name in the title. But the, at the time when we started, we didn't think we'd have guests. So we, <laughs> Maybe we just, Funny Man Says. Funny Man, that's even more arrogant. I don't like it. It's like um, you're a failed superhero. There's Spider-Man, Superman. I'm funny man. I can't really... You are funny man, Cyrus. But I can't fight crime. India knows you as that. You think? So yeah, that, like, of course. People, people rob a bank and I turn up in my vest and go, Let me tell you a joke. Drop yeah, your guns. Of course. And we they shoot me five times in the abdomen. In, Bak- in Bakra. Oh my God. So she's really young. She just tried to insult me. <laughs> I purposely said that. So let's call it Uncle Sai. Uncle Sai <laughs> yeah, says. Because I'm so name. old. Right, Malika? <laughs> Mm. Malika, you were born and brought up in Mumbai, by the way. Did you know that? Yes, I did. So I have my research right here. Oh, you're from Cathedral and John Connor in school. Were you from Cathedral? Unfortunately, as well? yes, I was. Unfortunately, me now, too. Now we will not discuss how many years apart. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. not. I've, I've been through this road many times. Then they tell you what teacher they know. They tell you what batch people they know. A lot of people are dead. Yeah, exactly. Teachers are expired. The teachers and who taught you from... probably are not around no, anymore. Uh, how mean? <laughs> <laughs> or was I not being mean to myself? Was there need to join in? Yeah. So we won't go there. Yeah, let's but start. I'm sure that you passed out well after the year 1988. Yeah, I think I was born somewhere around that. Jesus Christ, you can't <laughs> even be my child. You're so young that, oh my God, I don't know what to say. Yeah, so yeah, we did go to the same school, but uh, you've had a far better education beyond that. Uh, undergraduation degree in media and communications from Northwestern University in yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Wow. And then you went on to do your master's at London School of Economics. Yeah. That's a lot of education. Yeah, it really is. What went wrong? Except Why Northwestern so much? Northwestern was just absolutely terrible. Uh, mm-hmm. Studying every Friday and Saturday night. So I decided... Um, I need to just party and have a good time, which is why I landed up at LSE, and that's exactly what I did. I thought I thought LSE is where the serious students no, go. Really not. No. No. It's changed from my time. You London were at School of Economics. No, look at the, look at the shock on her face. <laughs> were again, you serious? Again, it's not a visual medium, so it's wasted. But she's aghast. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Were it's you? like I've had a gender change. Amazing. <laughs> you were at LSE, loser, funny man who just stopped no, the robbery. I, were you seriously? No, LSE? no, but no. my father-in-law was. Does that help? Oh wow. Okay. But he's even older. Than me, so yeah. You married an intelligent girl. Uh, well, that's not necessary. You know, the apples sometimes just fall Doesn't. far away. Can't say for sure. So, Malika, before we go back into your life, I want to just start with where you are right now. Uh, you wrote a Delhi shopping guide with Rupa Publications, and you wrote six shopping guides for Times of India. Yeah. So just take us through all that. So when I was at LSE, I decided I wanted to do something with writing because I've always been good at that. I've always had a passion for that. And anyone who's gone to cathedral kind of realizes that either you're good at English or you're good at math or you're good at science. You yeah, can't be good I, at all. Because other languages suck. Possible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I did very well in English and pretty much failed maths and science. So I decided that English is the route I should take. Which How much did you get in your ICSE? Until in English, I got, I got 96. Oh, in in English. I got 91. Let's not talk about the... I got 91. Sorry, are you kidding me? But that you was got 91 in but English. But that was the one subject I did well in and yeah, now you me beat too. me. Me too. No, I got nothing to talk about <laughs> because I can't even talk about the other five. 
Who <laughs> really poor? Yeah, me, me too. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, so I and my next good one was history, geography, and that's because it's in English. By the way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, so mine sorry, wasn't too good. So you were um, good in English. Ninety six. So, yeah, so Who gets ninety six? Yeah, me. Natasha Pratap was the brightest girl in my class. Got ninety three. Yeah, I think I topped English. You may have very well subject. have topped it for life. Who gets ninety six out of hundred? I, I heard someone got ninety nine. We were talking. Uh, so the unless you were correcting Hamlet at some point, like no, no, I was. Shakespeare, I'm very good. that's an adverb. Wrong usage of language. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very good. Really? Uh, so My God, I where do you go? <laughs> Just interview yourself. It's called Malika says I screw myself in the background. Ridiculous. What the so hell? I decided to uh, do something. You know how many times you said you're great at English? But I was. That was my only claim but to fame. Do you realize what happens to you when you go to cathedral and you're flunking five subjects? Mm-hmm. You hold on to that one subject that you're really you good at. Couldn't have got ninety six in English and flunked in five. No, I didn't. Nobody flunk. ever does that. No, I wouldn't have gone to Northwestern otherwise. There you go. Oh, look at my. <laughs> it's all coming out, huh? We're we're scratching the surface <laughs> and the monster's coming out slowly. Very so, interesting. Um, so ninety six in English. I can't yeah, get my head around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it well, was really good. Well, did you my parents have, were very like happy but surprised. Now my daughter will be a teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then I wrote shopping guides. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! But to give you credit, everything was perfect yeah. for the shopping guide. Not a yeah. single grammatical error. Nothing at all because they don't allow you. They make mm-hmm. you do. I was just. Going to um, go on, say go on. the wrong word. But, no, use uh, the wrong word. No, no. Then correct let's yourself. Not. Let's that's not typical. because I'm an English student. No, but um, if you correct yourself, it's like no, a no, like not a, not a word that's for audiences. You like the F word? Uh, no, something more creative. But it's the fine. I word. Let's that's, move past. The I word, by the way, is ISIS. Let's move past. Oh, what are the bad words that you want to use? <laughs> Cyrus. I don't know. What oh are the bad God. words? What are the bad words today? The F word. Know. The I word. What? Okay, let's just move past this bad word. I'm an 88 graduate who got 91. I I thought I was Robert Louis Stevenson himself. Now you get 96 and put me in my place, yeah. and then you keep mentioning it. Your whole yeah. interview is only about but then yourself. I said, but then instead of like doing, becoming like writing something great, I wrote shopping guides. No, so now I've like come back to my place. If you ask me, Harry Potter was a shopping guide for Scotland, <laughs> and then it just kind of merged into something else. And look how well they did. Yeah. Uh, no, so let's uh, rewind again. And so before you went to Northwestern, you were you did well in English. Yeah. But having said that, at least up to my generation, that meant nothing, except yeah. that you know you're eloquent and uh, you can win elocution classes and things like that. Because there's no language doesn't take yeah. you anywhere in India. What it do you really, do with it? Not, not at that time. Now it does, I think. Um, but then, so then I went to LSE and I was studying media and I knew I wanted to do something with media and writing and English. And uh, my friend and I were talking about, so she was in the UK as well. And we used to see these um, wear to wear directories, which was really cool because we went to fashion. So we'd, we bought the whole lot and it kind what of tells you. So wear to wear is like a zagat yeah. for clothes. And it tells you where you'll get the cheapest deal and like what an is really expensive. No, so it's like a shopping guide. Okay. So we saw what is that. It, where to wear? Uh, what, it's what called where to wear. So like the brand. geographically across England, I can get anything. No, no, it's then? where to wear for every city. Oh, where to so it's wear? Like w e a r. Look at my English. It's like where help me. to wear. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I was going W H E R E W H E R E. I had no, no idea no. you would enter the wear where, spectrum. Yeah, there. the two ways. Oh, you clever panna. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. we decided, so, you know, we were like, this is great. And we've used it so much through college. So we should definitely go and buy them in India and uh, realize there's nothing like that. There was only those because food Because the British guides. left in 1947 and yeah. took where to with them. Yeah, exactly. There you go. So then, which is why I arrived from You UK, brought it back. I brought it back. <laughs> Didn't get the koi but you got the where to yeah. <laughs> So um, just uh, decided to do this. And, uh, you know, we got pub- publishers to take it up. And it was exciting. It was fun. We were 22 uh, and no less than Rupa, one of the biggest names. Yeah, Ru- Roli first. Roli, Roli was the Rupa, one who first gave us. Rupa, these are like brother and sister in Delhi. It's your typical cousins in Delhi. I think they're brothers and sisters. Roli and Rupa Sharma, you don't know. They're quite opposite from brothers and sisters. Okay, but Roli's not Roli Poli. Stop it. Yeah, Rupa used to be a banya, now it's a publication house. Huge. Yeah. So yeah, so we did that, and then Times of India called, and then at that point, then I started doing these columns for DNA. Before, one say before we go into your writing columns and all that. So this. Where to wear now you've released it in India. So mine is not where to wear. We got inspiration from where huh. to wear. And so what was yeah, your shopping so guide? Mine was called uh, the Roly uh, Guide to Shopping in Mumbai. That who was thought, my who thought of that title? The Roly books, of course. The Roly I was, Guide I tried, to... I tried to persuade them respect. to say, please, let's not. Can we do like Malika or something? Yes. But they said no. But the moment you say the Roly, and I, I mean it with a lot of respect yeah, to them, because I they're a huge public, uh, public uh, pu- publication house and yeah. all that, publishing house. But... The moment you hear the word Roly, it yeah. goes into the comic space. No, it does. And yeah, 
It would I agree. Something I, should I have agree. Published. I wasn't very happy with it either, which is why we shifted to Rupa promptly. <laughs> which is <laughs> which a lovely is, name. <laughs> <laughs> which is amazing. There you go. Made the right decision there. Um, so uh, random <laughs> house still to hear of you. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So uh, you've got that going, and now let's move to you as a columnist. So then, w- after I finished those two books, uh, DNA was just launching in Bombay at that point. The newspaper. About, yes. Yeah. And uh, they contacted me to uh, do something in fashion and shopping and stuff. And so you've made, made a name. You've uh, made a name out of this. Uh, out of shopping. Can of you the shopping imagine? guide. No, yeah. obviously, if they've contacted yeah. you, you've yeah. made an impact. Yeah. And nobody's so, done this before. Let's give you a credit yeah, here. Yeah, no one did. No one's Thanks, thought of this. Cyrus. No one's thought of this idea of this no. way to wear India version. No, no one did. Okay. I was the first mm-hmm. and only one. Because a lot of Indians don't have clothes. No one's done it country, even after so me. It's, it's almost like mean and evil to have that kind of thing. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I have strange people walking around with phones just doing anything they want at any point. That's why I always tell my guests keep your clothes on. You have no idea yeah. what's being filmed. Why do they try Haven't to you seen the standard? They look at you and then Don't judge by yourself. No, we just get poor people off the street, feed oh, really? them something and oh. <laughs> let them lie here. <laughs> well, maybe you're that attractive. This is Paris. an NGO. Oh, Give yourself it. some credit. Your, your sarcasm won't work on me. <laughs> I've been insulted so many times. 96 bloody percent. I was still digesting that. I'm so angry. We'll edit it. We'll make it 86. I'll no, read no, up no, the whole thing. Please don't. That's my only claim to Thing. Damn you! We can do anything. It's our show. <laughs> All right. So uh, DNA launches, and yeah. uh, you made so a name. So then we conceptualized this column together. Well, and what I is this it, column going to be? It was DNA Shop Talk, and it was every week. And uh, I can't believe my life has reached the point where I'm going to discuss DNA Shop Talk now. Yeah. So uh, once a week for four years. And once a week for four yeah, years. Yeah. So it did yeah. really well, and uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, what, what What do you discuss here? This is now. So fashion. I covered the latest stores. The latest? Store launches and like the latest fashion. So you had to go and attend all these things yeah, and all? Yeah, which was not so much fun. But No, but that gives you a certain power also because now you're a writer, yeah. journalist. And I you're covering the power the came when I was writing the column. I didn't need power to go to the oh, event. No, what, what I'm saying, but that, that's how it works in the business, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Because then they need so, you, you know, you need them, yeah, etc. Yeah, exactly. All that. So then I did that and then um, approached So tell us about your experiences yeah. now. Let's just fast forward through this. You go there and you now you start meeting the hoity... Well, the you know the, the big but shots. But you know, Cyrus, the they're not really hoity. The oh. people you're interacting with behind the hoity toity people is the one I was interacting with because even who? I was behind the the scenes for DNA. <laughs> but who who would you interact with? All the brands, pretty much, like and small the designers stores, as well, and, and yeah, of course, and uh, interact with all the designers for my books, anyways. And would they try to bribe so, you and things like that? Yeah, entice you with uh, their but very little money, unfortunately. Poor yeah. writer, like <laughs> really, the concept was true. Okay, let me just remind you: you went to Cathedral and John Connor School, who have not had a poor child since 1952. You then went to Northwestern University in Chicago as an Indian, paying in dollars yeah. in the 90s, 2000s, whatever it was. It, it was a lot. You then, because you felt that wasn't enough. You went to London and yeah. did an LSE degree there, which yeah. people uh, sell their parents to just do one year of an LSE yeah. from a third world country. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, which uh, is why my dad I don't is think you were struggling. My dad huh? is cr- my dad is struggling. My fu- my husband is struggling. They have to work They're hard. Scratching their heads, saying, "What is? What are all these degrees doing? <laughs> no money, nothing. I have a T-shirt which is torn, which I'm blogging all day." You know, the funny part is, no matter what happens, your dad can always have one thing on the rest at the cocktail party. But Malika got ninety six percent. My dad is a Madhu business. This man, he doesn't really care. He'd oh. prefer it if I earn money. He's very disappointed <laughs> to speak English yeah, in the he's first very, place. He's like, so much money, beta. When is it ever coming back? Yeah, yeah not yeah. happening. You're sounding like a Parsi girl now. Yeah, very yeah. good in English, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get so your business one of my sense best friends together. Is Parsi. Who, who, who? What's her name? Now that we digress. You really want to know? Might as well. Her talk, she auntie. Her talk, she not the most yeah. popular person. It's not. It's business. not. That's why I said, do you really want to know? They wanted to challenge very, her as a child. She's been very depressed with her name ever since she was born. What's her pet name? Rixi. Much better. No, Sounds Punjabi, really. but nobody sister, cares. She has yeah. a sister who's Pixie. Okay, now listen. Between Roly, listen, why Rixie, do you guys do this? And Rupa, I don't understand. I have a whole new world. <laughs> all right, my world is crashing, and I got to tell you, Harry Potter's means nothing. I couldn't understand those books. Listen, you haven't entered the Madhu world of nicknames yet. Will you tell me what's your Madhu? What's your nickname? No, 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 not a dare. But Malika will become Mal, Mali, Mali. No, no, no. We have like a Come different on. identity. Disconnected names. Of course. Please tell me. What do you say? So, what's your nickname? Okay, just for you, Cyrus. Yeah. It's Rinky. Rinky. Yeah, and my huh? sister was Chicky. And her real name is Vonnie Thompson. Manjri. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What's your nickname, Cyrus? Mm, but I can't say it. But it's the second part of parachute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, Dad liked to call me that, and everybody <laughs> smiled. And even today, they say "well done" and all that whenever I come home and call me by the same name. <laughs> I was hoping one day they use the whole word so I feel a little better, but no. <laughs> 
Anyway, win some, lose some. So now you you got a column on at DNA, and you're you're basically into this whole Indian fashion scene. Yeah. And uh, then you started hosting segments. Yeah. On television. Yeah. So for CNBC Avas, except it was very hard because it was in Hindi. I was about to so ask. So I him. asked them. I said, "Can you shift me to CNBC?" They said, "No, we have better people in CNBC than you. So you have to go for Menka, the Hindi channel." Xavier's. You have to be very careful. You should think about India. I was Manika Xavier's. My batch. You know these oh. years before you, but problem is they're already there. Huh. And in India, nobody gives up their seat. So then Hindi became monopolize. very tough for me after a while. I you mentioned ninety six percent was in English. <laughs> yeah. How much did you get because in Hindi, like by the way? Maybe fifty four in Hindi. Are you kidding me? No, no, Such no, a no, huge no, jump. No, no. I went to Northwestern. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must have picked up some Hindi. Come on, yeah. No, no. So I was good in the other subjects. I'm just yeah. being modest. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so, but uh, so Awaz was for how long? Was it a proper thing? Yeah. So it was about for like a year. Oh, so it was a full term. Uh, yeah, yeah. Skin I had there. a section in in Awaz. I had a section called Malika's Pick. Okay, Can now, you it, imagine? If you say that fast, it's, my... it could sound vulgar. <laughs> my God, I, I haven't thought of that. Yeah, I have thought of it immediately. Eight years, I never oh, thought of that. You didn't think of that? No. What kind of friends do you have? Where's oh Rudoxi? Where's Where's Ringsy and Pinksy and all now? And we need show. <laughs> Yeah. Malikas, oh you have God. a couple of drinks and then do the show. You were talking yeah, about really. that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malikas. <laughs> no, no, in Hindi, in Hindi. Oh, so, I'm going to say Malikas. Oh, you're right. Now, we're going to talk about Louis Vuitton. Oh, beautiful. Please do us no, a second. No, 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 I can't. Right I can't. Now. It was oh, really traumatic. My, my engineer's on the floor. It He's was never laughed really, in the year. No, you don't understand. No, you've got to do it. I want French names. Every time I said one English word, they would all jump down my throat. And I said, no. But Louis Vuitton's French. No, so exactly. Can you imagine me What's trying to explain? Louis Vuitton ka logo, lekin but logo is what in Hindi we can't use logo. What's it? You're saying logo or logo? Like both. <laughs> but, but, both but that, logos. But, but, but that's confusing. Both the... logos were confusing. So when? How did they know what you were talking okay. about? So it was even I didn't know what I was talking about eventually. And what's the word for fashion in Hindi anyway? That's the most important I don't word. remember. It was See? a traumatic incident no, that happened you, you eight years ago. But but Now fashion, the, the main thing. How do you? What do you say for fashion? And you guys are fashion. Something for clothes. What is this word for clothes? What is it called? Kapra? It's what is it? No, not ha. Kapra was like my favorite word. But that's a little down market word. You can't use <laughs> no, that word fine. for fashion. No, no, it's no. got to be like a word like no, attire. I looked or... up market, but my Hindi was just so like bad. So you should have been on a silent so they, channel then. <laughs> yeah, I really should have. I think I would have done a better job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude! Please try one segment no, in Hindi for us. What? What do you please, want me please. to say? What do I, actually, I'm not good at fashion, so you'll have to do it. What? Just what present something. The collection, no, I... summer collection of. Uh, no, no, no. Then no, you can't come laugh Laurent. at me, sir. You can't invite me and then make fun of sounds, me. I just want to know. We discuss me. this. You're not going to make fun of me. I've grown up in the same South Mumbai no, bubble. No, I've grown up with no. people like you, so I just. No, I'm just thinking. On Awaz, yes, it's the wrong fit, so I just want to hear it. It is. Come on. What? No, no, no. I can't. What should I say? Just do a segment like you would have then. This is opening. Up, your welcome is Louis Vuitton <laughs> Spring Collection. I don't know what my fashion knowledge yeah, is. Yeah, I, I don't remember now. It was very. It was no because then you'll laugh and then I'll laugh no, no, and it'll no, no. be really. Let's laugh. Let's nee. laugh. It's fun. Now we are here at the Taj Mahal Hotel, in the Louis Vuitton shop, in a very big shop. You get clothes in the shop. If you want to go to a cocktail party, you can get very good clothes in the shop. Obviously, this is terrible. It wasn't so bad. Uh, Louis Vuitton's logo. I am telling you, I would have tuned in every day. People did. I would have tuned but in, or no, would have been but finished. But then they realized they weren't getting the right target audience. They said, you know, we are getting people who right are seeing it, is awesome, but yeah. it's not that it's not the quality of people we want. It's like a different segment. But they can't afford Louis Vuitton. The people. Do. I should have approached you for your show. That that I'm really good at pulling fast ones at people. It looks like it. I'm really. Well, I was for one year <laughs> talking to poor people about clothes they can't uh, afford in bad Hindi, exactly. which they can't understand. I feel it's so bad. It's always like you're being sarcastic. Uh, like, <laughs> you know exactly. And, yeah, then, and, then, and then they come in. Come in. Come in. Yeah, they go. Someone would ask me from the back. Yeah, they go. Someone would ask me from the back. Oh, but man, somebody would ask you from the back. Now you sound like a Delhi girl again. And I would say, I would say. <laughs> what? Okay, Malika, you're really making me laugh today. No, uh, but listen, it was really saying? bad because these people would ask. Ninety-six percent, huh? huh? These people, yeah, exactly. I had to, I had to do an English show, but so then they would ask me, "ये ये जूता कितने का है?" Then I would say, "ये जूता," and hold it in the palm of my hand and say, "ये जूता." सवा लाख रुपया का है एंड माई कैमरा मैन वुड लाइक दिस कैमरा वुड बी शेकिंग एट दैट आई लाइक नो इट्स नॉट आई रियली या सो देन आई देन एक्चुअली आई डेंट लीव आई वुड से आई लेफ्ट दे आस्ट मी नाइसली टू से डू यू थिंक यू कुड स्टेप डाउन फॉर समन एल्स वेरी नाइस ऑफ दिन या 
Yeah. Even the person who took over was quite Hindi-esque. <laughs> They've gone completely. I know. I work in the same place. Let me tell you. CNBC Avas. They all speak very good Hindi now. You work in CNBC no, Avas. Cyrus, you're shocked. Cyrus, you, everything you've done, you've done. We, uh, we you've share gone the to LSC. You've, you've got ninety-one percent in English. You worked yeah. at CNBC. I, I'm Avas. like a poor man's version of you, <laughs> literally. Yeah. And my Hindi is even worse. So I'll tell you what. We'll take a break. We'll practice Hindi. Then we'll come back. Okay. Can you say take a break in Hindi properly? That you could break lo or what or ek kya ek what to what. प्लीज आप एक ब्रेक लीजिए और फिर हम वापस आते हैं स्टॉप Because after what you've <laughs> no, said, we were talking about it. We so for those who do understand Prada, the language, they, they need to drink something. So just wait, just wait. We'll come back. We'll come okay. back. Who's ahead in the league and what's cooking off the pitch? We at TFG bring all that you need to know about Indian football: discussions, debate, banter, in-depth analysis, with a touch of fun and fandom. This is the TFG Indian Football Podcast, and we're a daily show. So check us out on YouTube and various other podcasting apps like iTunes, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, etc. All right, with Malika Singhania, we're learning so much related to the Singhania family. Malika, no, I'm not. Oh. And I get asked this question I'm, like, I'm I feel sure. like a celebrity because you know how people ask, you But know, Joey, yes. like how you're doing. That's how people ask me when yeah. they look at me. They're like, Are you related to the Raymonds family? Yeah, but I need you, to come up with like, give me like a nice line. Business, no, give me like. You said you were. But then what if I get caught? You sh- you should just say they aren't complete. What if Gautam Singhania calls me up <laughs> and says, "Excuse me, <laughs> Mrs. Malika Singhania, you've but, been but, spreading but, a rumor." You're a Singhania. There must be some connection no, somewhere. No, there isn't. Unfortunately. Come on. It's no, they really. I looked. No, I you looked. Check, of course, I looked. What everything. do you say? Of course. When I first met my husband, I said maybe you know there's Gautam Singhania. Oh, oh, that's this. Uh, so what was like your the, sorry? One second. What was your name in uh, before marriage? Malika Agarwala. Agarwala. Yeah, oh, like a full-on right. Madhu me. Oh, hard code. I grew up with twenty Agarwals in my. No, no, but I'm not Agarwal. But uh, that's no big deal. But There's listen, no big Cyrus, Agarwal, I'm not Agarwal. They're making a big no, deal no, out no. of it. No, no, no. It's just the, the way you pronounce the word. My family is very possessive about that extra L A. Yeah. Yeah. There's no extra L A. There's extra A. No, no. I have two L's. So why do you have two L's? The L was feeling lonely. You got ninety six, and you can't spell your name. Yeah, What the hell? Listen, trust me, it's my surname. I've grown up with it. My parents stop me. When you have a double L, it becomes Agar Wall. You know that joke, right? Agar Wall nahi hota, the building will jaati. Ah, no more Hindi, please. CNBC Awaz is just announced closure. <laughs> this is They're what shut. I told them. This is what I told them, and they said, "Wow, Malika, you have to come on our show." But do you realize when rich Indians in bad Hindi are holding up very expensive shoes and talking to middle class yeah, Indians, it's nice. almost it's wrong. Like a, it in, is, doesn't anybody understand? It's that almost like right? mocking. Like, it is mocking. It's weird. Like it's it's, it's not nice to do that. It's what we call vilified vyang in Hindi, yeah. which is satire taken to an extreme and should not be practiced by anyone. Malika, let's get back to your story. You did do more on TV. Yeah. What is smart shopping? So smart shopping was uh, on uh, CNBC. Abaz, that was the show. Smart shopping. Oh, okay. So they spoke about like a lot of like things for their target audience, and then I was like the. So would you write your own script for this? Would you yeah. research your own thing? What should be bought, not bought? What's in, what's out? Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I decide. And what no one I'm would covering. interfere with that, at least. No, except for my Hindi. Yeah, but but didn't you then, use a teleprompter? I mean, now. No, but this was like now eight years ago, no, eight nine years. All right, so this is pre-teleprompters in those old days yeah. when television was very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why the mission. Especially when it's in Hindi. Yeah, <laughs> he's really taking this badly. I must say. No, I You've really done so did. much for promoting the national language <laughs> in the last few minutes. The the government applauds you. Uh, then you moved on to Zoom TV, yeah. NDTV. Zoom, so I did for what? like I did like for very like I did like three months each. Uh, again, like their shopping. They had a lot. You know, there was a lot of stuff on shopping at that time. Shopping is huge. One no, the, but not fashion. Like shopping. Shopping, shopping. Yeah. The, the the online shopping things yeah, that are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So or not online? Online. I brought online to India. With, you brought with online my to online e-commerce venture. I was the second one to bring it to India. That's what I heard. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. But first, uh, quickly about Zoom and NDTV. So then, uh, so I, I was in these shopping shows in Zoom and in NDTV, and it was, it was fun. At it the was, same time, my God, channels? it was in English. No, like one after the other, but it was okay. in English, which was so much easier. And um, so yeah, after hours, this was a walk thing. in the park. Oh for my you. God, it really was. Mm. I really felt like I was in my place. And NDTV, what was the show about? Similar? Again, something shopping related only. So again, so this is contemporary. Fashion related. Contemporary, always like what's in and out brands wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. to look forward what's to? What's the latest thing? The new designers? What's the inspiration? All of that stuff. Did you start making a name for yourself? Did people come and approach you and say? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why, though, Cyrus. 
I blame it. I wonder. TV. Damn them. Yeah. They didn't promote it enough. <laughs> do, do what we all do. If things don't work, they didn't promote it enough. That's the rule of television. It's very simple. Okay, now let's talk about this uh, e-commerce venture which made you a multimillionaire at age 20. No, uh, you've been very modest about your television, but uh, in the meantime, you did have this huge venture. No, so then I, I got pregnant with my first kid. What do you mean I got pregnant? It's not like an accident. I it's mean, a plan married, thing. Yeah. so it's okay if I got pregnant. Even if, even if you weren't married, it's but, okay. I mean, Let me see, talk to all the women fine. out there who are pregnant without husbands. It's not a bad thing. It's not. It, very often, it's I'm a very good saying. thing. Yeah. Yeah, but not the baby. The, the idea of being pregnant. Because you can't talk about the baby until the baby is born. How do we know if it's a good thing or bad thing? You never know what the child's going to become. Yeah. My head CNBC hours and drive you mad. I'm kind of following you, but not really. You're not interested but, anymore. Um, <laughs> I've lost my charm. <laughs> we had a lovely 20 minutes. Just leave it at that. Yeah. So, IndianHanger.com, yeah. Monica. Take us through so your... We, so, I got pregnant and I decided to stop TV because it's just it was just really hectic. Mm-hmm. And uh, decided... So, again, I was actually looking for something from Sabya Sachi and uh, was trying just to find a store For those online. who don't know, Sabya Sachi is, is a famous designer. Yes. He's not a city in Cal- no, uh, West no, no. Bengal. Because no. people don't know. He's a know famous designer. Sorry. Sabya, more, Sabya uh, Sachi Japanese. Mukherjee. Is, is that an Indian name, Sabya Sachi? Yeah, it's a Or is it like a Bengali Japanese name? No? Bengali, no? You're, just, yeah. you're just thinking it is because he is Bengali. I'm mm-hmm. thinking it's a Japanese name. No. I've never heard Sabya Sachi. They don't have such long names. They have very long names. Hirohito, Yagamuchi. What are these? Japanese. No, but you, are they places or names? I I can get back to you well, with details in a few minutes, but I wanted to talk about IndianHanger.com and, so, and you had just got pregnant, so, so I want to stop yeah, in the middle. Yeah. So then I decided that I want to do something which is, you know, more long term and something which I can like go to an office every day. And um, I was looking one day for... Um, you in Mumbai at the moment? Yeah. I've always I've been in Mumbai. No, but you've been all over the world, so I'm yeah, just checking where you are right I'm now. I'm in Mumbai. Definitely not to Japan. But no, why go there? No, yeah. but I want to go to Japan. Don't after what you've done and said in the last few minutes. <laughs> yeah. So then uh, we, so I decided that I want to start this online store because there was nothing. There was there was not one store that I could find. And uh, all my friends abroad, all my college friends were like, you know. No, but this is a very good idea. Indian stores for NRI audience. Yeah, because all my friends were very no conscious. No one had this idea? No one. Can you imagine? So there was one store. Um, and But then they did more of like, they were targeting India and they were doing much more like lower and stuff. So I spoke to a bunch of designers and everyone kind of just jumped onto the bandwagon like Manish Malhotra you know, it's one of those like, ideas if I can interrupt for a second but the moment I saw it or you discussed it before you came I was like but that's a great idea you yeah. know, it's one of those ideas you know that whoever got this idea just hit an idea at the right time it was are you great. sure nobody had this idea no, no I can't believe that nobody thought of this idea because when all the Indians who have been abroad you know Indians love they do but I think for I think culture. the whole um, the whole system in which the designers work was just so chaotic like you know it's it's not now it's become so much better now it's become like fine tune and you get your orders on time and deliveries and stuff but at that time it wasn't and uh, designers didn't even really care to go online because they were so busy getting their orders from you know uh, on land but so, uh, overnight you change the space not overnight it takes time to launch it took me a year mm-hmm. to like tie up with all these designers and all but it was and this is going strong? Yes. No, so I sold, sold it. it no, I you sold it two it, yeah. years ago. Oh. I ran it for about two and a half years along with a friend of mine from Northwestern. Kitla Malyu? No, no, I can't say that on it. Come on, sweetie. No, no. no say in Hindi. No, no. no, no. Huh? Maybe in Japanese. <laughs> but I no, don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll spend hours trying to figure it out. Don't do that. Yeah. But obviously, so, you did decently well. So the yeah. model in you is strong. Yeah. And all that. Course. Daddy will be proud, huh? All this sort acting. Of, English sort lit, of. English no, lit. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of proud, thoda proud. There, was it a partner involved in this? Yeah, so my business partner was there as well, and uh, he still he was in the digital space, and we kind of joined hands with this. So it was really nice. It taught me a lot with all designer stuff and like getting in touch with designers, which is why I launched Stylogram last year, which again is one of the first. Which is now with a fashion blog that covers Indian international fashion yeah. comprehensively. See, I know my fashion. Comprehensively. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, I think we're one of the first few who are kind of doing it because it's kind of like a magazine, but it's not. And what we realized when I was running Indian Hanger was, um, you know, there wasn't great content around and the magazines are so expensive. They charge like lakhs of rupees to cover you. So I decided that there was something that needed to be more independent and uh, something that's more reasonable for designers to tap into. And uh, um, I think we're one of the 
first to be doing this in a comprehensive Okay, so now way. let's ask you on your area of expertise. Are Indian fashion designers up there now? I mean, we have no idea. The people are not really into fashion. But we read about them a lot. And they're almost now like uh, film stars yeah. in the papers all the time. The celebrities. You see them. They are. And they're, yeah. they're, they're very loud. They're out there in our pop culture. Are they big abroad? Uh, would you say that we I think there are like three that are really big. There is uh, Anamika, Sabyasachi and Manish. And then I think Masaba is like kind of... Masaba is Vivrichas' daughter. Yeah. For the cricket loving people who don't know fashion. Yeah. Uh, so she's also so big, she's, is She's, I think, yeah. What about Tarun Tahilyani and I don't think the they're older that active so, uh, on social Walia, media as JJ much. Wal- Walaya. No, I don't think they're that active. I mean, uh, am I being politically no, no, just, incorrect? I don't they, want they, No, no, no. Just be open. Um, you're I not think, being. I think personal. these three would be the really big names on social media. Um, n- not just them on social but media, but big people. names. Are we talking about who sells or are we talking about who's popular? Which popular okay. in terms of searches and stuff. Okay. So I think these three And then the guard that went before the, the names I mentioned also They are not as big today as these guys No, they may be even bigger in terms of business But I just don't think they're that searched for Or that, you know So if I was not Indian These three uh, that you mentioned first Sabya Sachi, Aramika and uh, I think if you weren't Indian guy. You wouldn't pay for their clothes For sure You'd go to like a Benzer, no? Oh, okay So that's, that's what, what I'm what trying to ask you That's what do, right? So, so Indians aren't big N- nothing what sexual here. <laughs> just, just stay where you are, please. I don't. I'm fashionally do challenged. Indians are not big. I'm fashion challenged. I'm an FC. Indians are. Uh, no, are Indians? I don't know how to answer okay, the question. Okay, so let me let me explain. In the Indian context, I know the fashion designers are here to stay. Yeah. I know that they are known names. I know that people like you now have you know pushed them up with your ideas yeah, and things that you've come up with. Yeah. So let's. You have to blame for this. Yeah. But abroad, are they known as well? They so known, but Indian designer, I think they're known with the limited community that beyond you know, the NRI community which you created is, uh, are they known or not I don't think so I so mean, not that not big yet well. no I don't think they're that big that like the rest of the world knows them god no, man what know. frauds I thought they were big names I yeah. don't think they're complaining yeah I think they're making enough with just that 1% of the Indian community so have you ever thought of becoming a designer yourself no, or becoming never. a fashionista in that sense no 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 I don't think I, I would you like staying a uh, uh, yeah, I like the writing and, and I like the the media aspect of it a lot more. So mm-hmm. that's what I'll stick to. Okay, so Malika, before we wind up, tell us what, what what's next for you now. You at such, such a young age, you hawked a company, made millions of dollars. Do you, You've been I, on television. Wow, that's a compliment at such a young age, Cyrus. Well, if she passed out <laughs> after I, uh, you know, eighty eight, you know, if she was born after it, I was just doing the maths. And Don't it comes lie, to me Cyrus. That, you would like backhand compliment, yeah. No, I, I, I respect money. I Come saw on. the car you came in and I, I, you know, I'll wash it later. We'll all be friends. <laughs> now let's talk about your future. What's up next? So hopefully just grow Stylogram, make it one of the um, premium um, fashion blogs that people go to internationally and uh, from Malika, India. Malika, the phones are ringing off. They, people please, are saying, Cyrus, call some will, influential people and tell them about me. No, will, please, will Cyrus, Malika will you do that for me? to the Hindi television no, medium? No, 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 please, people I can't, saying, I can't. That, whatever she no, and this time it will definitely not be called Malika Star pick. Sony the call <laughs> uh, Malika who's also the same name because in India no, she's not. Every, That's not her name. every three people are named the same uh, the, the phones are ringing off the hook no Cyrus people are just, I need your help Cyrus you need to speak you to understand. some influential it, it was, fashion people it, it was the just, fashionistas and the stylistas but you've you got all that you've got me. all that no, no, but, but look at the bigger market that's waiting for you. Which is Poor the bigger market? I wonder why you insult them by holding up shoes they can't even look at. Yeah, Chuta. Yeah. Let's go see it. Let's go see beads and glitter on it. Really? Is that what you have to say? Really? Is that what you have to say? I wish they could cut to some poor guy in a village. Can you imagine how awkward my face was while I was saying it? No, I I think it's perfectly fine. You're bridging the <laughs> gaps. You're bringing the worlds together in a sense. So maybe getting them to aspire and for people to think, okay, one day we could buy those shoes once she's finished wearing them, and yeah. you know, forty years maybe, later when maybe, they're torn. Who knows? Maybe there's that one person who got inspired. Well, well, I'm rest. sure there are plenty. Of guys. Stop <laughs> putting yourself, making fun of yourself. You've done very well, and we all know you're super successful. Uh, now tell us three secrets about your personal life. How did you meet your husband? So, oh my God, I met him when I was fourteen. In the ninth standard, I'm telling my parents really played their cards right, Are except you for the fact that I'm not earning money. Huh? No, but that's fine. Fourteen. Uh, yeah. It's like a child marriage. Yeah. How old was he? Thirty-one. Fourteen only. Okay. No, but we didn't get married at fourteen. So you were in school together? Yeah. Oh, one of those insular cathedral stories. You know. Oh God, you mean you travel the world? You married cathedral light? Yeah. Can you imagine? Don't you no, feel but cheating? that's also okay. It's like, like going like all over and marrying someone in your building. Like I, I mean. 
Sounds a bit Are you crazy. happy? Are you? Yeah, of course. I'm very happy. Yeah. Okay, so are we. Well done, Malika. Singhani are now. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm sure you're going to do even more in the fashion world. You've been fooling All around. I'm, I'm now leaving it up to you, Cyrus, to make Well, you're in safe hands. Yeah, if I can't get make some calls. If I can't get the Japanese consul to get Sabya <laughs> Sachi on the line and take my call, nobody can. <laughs> but let me tell you that. Yeah. Okay, who's your favorite designer as we end? I think Manish. I love the glamour. And, and he's like, been around forever, and yeah. he's still number one. He really understands like women wanting to feel glam and sexy and. Okay. Yeah. But I've seen him lose his temper at a fashion show. I got so scared. He screamed at one of his. He underlings. screamed at you. Uh, that's just because aesthetically I'm not pleasing to his eye but, <laughs> but he, he was angry with someone and you know yeah, he's I'm quite sure. a taskmaster I saw that side yeah. people don't see that side yeah uh, so but, I, but, I've never seen that but side. 20 odd years I think and, and you still say he's the best huh? I like him personally but mm -hmm. I don't know whether he's the best who but makes I like better him. designers males or females so is that an unfair question uh, that's that's very generic yeah. I mean I think they're both uh, there's an Amika who's fantastic mm -hmm. and then there's Sabya Sachi was Japanese, so you don't want to comment. And yeah, I guess I guess it's divided. I guess it's both. Okay, fair enough. Diplomatic answer. Yeah. But we won't let you go yet. Let's we keep have it diplomatic. We have an AMA section coming up okay. soon, so where we need you to take part, and yeah, it's an sure. Ask Me Anything section. Okay. Uh, we will enter that section with this gentleman who looks like Darth Vader. Oh no, actually, oh. he's not available. So I'm going to ask a friend of mine oh, to jump great. in. She's a young girl, underage. So please be careful. And her name is also Malvika. Apparently, yeah, it's oh. very close to yours. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail.com. The EMAs, yes. Uh, Malika, Malvika will take us through. Malika will answer. Okay, so first question on the EMA. What are some things that Indian parents don't know about their children? Indian parents? Parents don't know about their children. Uh, that they're ugly. I think a lot of uh, people come and say, have you seen my daughter? She's so pretty. And then you actually see her. She's the one with the moustache. So no, <laughs> I, I, I've noticed that That's a lot. Really, I, Indian, do you especially realize how sensitive children, we're getting? Do you realize Ma how sensitive our country is? Are you sure you want to make this comment? I can't bear the kids. Are you Malika, sure, Cyrus? I have to go to parties. Listen, and my wife we are tells a sensitive me, country. Oh God, you have to pick up do this not make these comments. so and so boy. And this boy is so and so. Whatever. He's very cute. With it. No, no. And then this ugly fat I kid think, comes I and think steps on my foot. skin color is... Oh, that wheatish. What is that all about? Oh, good point. What is this wheatish? Is wheat. You're not black enough or either not white enough for your you're wheat. Fair or wheat. Yeah, wheatish. Yeah. Uh, that, that that is a that is a real uh, upside to race. Is there race anything that somebody. your parents didn't know about you while you were growing? That up? I was a male. <laughs> they just had no idea. My dad bought me a frock for my 18th birthday, and he said, "You know, this is your auntie Roshan's, and so you wear this now." And then that you know. That explains so much, though. Yeah, and then when I curtsied at uh, you know my first uh, professional play, uh, and they were like, you know, they were so happy. With my daughter has <laughs> done so well. Yeah, but when I brought a woman home and they thought I was a lesbian, you know, that's when they drew the line. So were they happy, or that you're not a lesbian, or that you're a boy? No, they just said, "Can we film it?" Because you know, there's all kinds of markets <laughs> out there. So. <laughs> So no, no, but parents. I'm telling you, parents have to understand the kids, all the kids don't look that good and, you know, conventionally or whatever. It's not a big deal. Why do they have to look good? But wouldn't they be used to it because they're looking at themselves also then? Sometimes they look like the grandparents and they are really awful. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, God. You don't even know what they look like because your grandparents <laughs> were born old. So you don't even know how ugly they really were sometimes. We need to look at how we restructure our society. No, I really think that is I think a we problem. should cover up more. At least the males. What? I think Indian women are quite attractive, honestly speaking. But yeah. Indian men should cover up more. No, but if you have a good body, why should you cover up? So what, what, what nonsense so you cover advice is this, so, so Cyrus? So, we have three women so, sitting so, so in what this you're studio, is, and you're asking Indian so what men you're to cover is, up? Indian men should wear a towel around their face and walk around if they have nice bodies. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm with you. Okay, done. I'm imagining that. It's quite funny. You're not imagining that. You've already made a film <laughs> back in Chennai. Don't be a naughty girl. Tell us about it. Who was in it? And how many towels did you use? I know it was a joint family. <laughs> it was those. It was those thin towels. Yeah. God, oh God. no. <laughs> but you can see everything through. Why do they bother with those towels? Really. Yeah. Terrible. Anyway, the second question is: uh, What's your go-to dance song? This is for her, the youngsters. What's my go-to dance song? Is there a go-to right now? Immediately. I'm a big Bollywood buff, so I think for me, it would be that Hello, Hello from, uh, what's that movie? Dil Dharak Me Do. Isn't, isn't that like a one-year-old or two-year-old film? One-year-old. Do you want to like give us a little sample? This is the film with uh, uh, Rahul Bose. Yeah. 
where he's you know uh, the molester yeah he's 5 years my senior so you can do the maths oh. uh where he molest priyanka chopra no same film he doesn't molest what well, he is the bad husband who beats her up or something he doesn't beat her they're just incompatible oh that's my family <laughs> talking <laughs> stay out of my family yeah all right what's your size <coughs> oh i'm a little old school i like grease lightning Nice. And my daughter's a huge Grease fan, so Sweet. I'm forced to listen to Grease and, and and talk about Harry Potter, and nothing else. And now after nine months of doing that, I want to change my daughter. Do you and your wife perform the whole routine? My wife? Have you met my wife? <laughs> my wife is on her way to Syria, as far as I know. <laughs> you have no idea about my wife. We don't take that four-letter word in public anymore. <laughs> Say spouse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's it then. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's Can we hear the CNBC Awards one last time? No, not at all. all. Come on. No, no, no. You have no, to no, come on. Tell us why don't you do Some one? You do one, and then I will like add it. I can do Toba Take Sing. I still remember. What is Toba Take Sing? I don't know what that is. Is that from your generation? <laughs> I, what is it? Sorry. It doesn't matter. What is it? How does it matter? Who remembers <laughs> Bantu anyway? An old poet writer who cares about him anymore? Yeah. Thank you Malika thank you thank for being you. here we'll hear from you we'll see yes. you and we'll talk to Malvika in a few minutes about the quality of the guests on the show yaar <laughs> <laughs> No no now I'll be famous no all thanks to you You think we have yeah. nine people listening what are you crazy <laughs> Okay catch us on iTunes SoundCloud Stitcher Beyond Pod any of the podcasting apps please we beg you we need you If you have any questions write to us online and uh, you can mail us as well we will answer we have a doctor in the house called me And that's what Cyrus says. By the way, Janta, in case you're in love with tech, they're simplified with Chuck Narain and Srike, three good friends of mine. They want to be comedians, but turned out they're better with tech. So this is it, simplified. It's just for you. Hey man, just help me out, man. I need some. I need some podcast, man. I haven't had a fix in a week. Just need some. Don't you worry about it. I got podcast galore for you, man. Just go to ivmpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, man. I'm gonna check it out.